What's going on, everybody? This is Abong Eka, international best-selling author and the founder of Economics, where we help companies and organizations not only engage their employees, but also uh, identify their own tar- their, their real target and their real clients and, and get more customers and clients for their business uh, in a series of industries. But that's not what I want to talk to you guys today about. I want to share something with you guys real quickly, important to distraction and avoiding distraction. So what does that basically mean? Distraction is simple. Distraction could be news. It could be this, uh, a person in your life. It could be friends. It could be family. It could be your coworkers. It could be your kids. It could be anything. Especially if you are, if you have a goal or a vision or something you're trying to accomplish. Now, too often, we allow things in life to distract us, right? Like that new, uh, that new technique, that new Facebook ad uh, hack, or uh, uh, something that you're seeing in your business, or something you're seeing in your in your personal life that gets you off your particular path. Now. I practice Stoicism, and Marcus Aurelius has a famous quote, and I won't paraphrase it. Actually, I'm going to paraphrase it, but and, and what he basically says is if you can control your mind, you can control your life. You can control your thoughts. Now, there's some semblance of this out in other, in other people's quotes, but this came originally from Marcus Aurelius. Basically, control your thoughts, control your, control your life, because the way you think is, is how you go. The things you think about is how you behave. So if you believe that you've been wronged and life is screwing you and doing you dirty, then you're going to behave accordingly. You're going to approach people from a negative perspective. I'm not saying it's all about positivity. This is more like being pragmatic, being aware of your surroundings, being aware of what life is like and staying present. Those who stay present to the moment can make decisions in the moment. Too many people get distracted by time traveling. They think about the future. They worry about the past and they never live in the present. And as a result of the, the decisions they make, literally get colored by these two things. Now look, I know you're going to say to say to me, but the past matters. It does. But the past should be there to serve you and to help you, not to hinder you. If it's like an anchor around your neck keeping you from swimming up to the surface, then what is the freaking point? You you get it? So, if you're in business and you're trying, but what does the distraction mean for business? If you're in business, you try and get in front of that right client. That person may not be returning your calls, not because they don't like you, not because they don't like your solution, but you're competing not with other competitors or other people in your space. You're competing with the news. You're competing with the Kardashians. You're competing with Kanye West. You're competing with Me Too movement. You're competing with Israel Gaza. You're competing with Trump. You're competing with CNN. You're competing with that person picking their kids up from school. You're competing with soccer practice and volleyball and basketball practice. You're competing with your wife, talking, having a serious conversation with you. You're competing with your in-laws. You're competing with your parents. You're competing with the attention of everything else that's going on in that person's life, you have to be compelling enough to bur- to burst through all the noise to get them to want to give you a time, minutes out of their day. When you come from that perspective, when they say no to you or they don't respond or they don't answer your questions, you don't take it personally because you know it's not about you because they haven't heard what you have to say. So there's no way, shape, or form and no way in hell that they would actually know what you have to say because they, wouldn't, they haven't given you the time to talk. Understand? The goal is simple. Eradicate distractions. You set the path for an amazing life, an amazing business, an amazing experience while you're on this planet. If you waste your time living in the past, living in the future, there are people like that all, all over the place. Go on, go on uh, Facebook and, and take a look at people's feeds. Just bullshit all day long. Complaints, crying, whining, griping, right? And they're getting no closer to where they want to go. You can't be complaining about something in the past and going forward. It's diametrically opposed. It's physically and mentally and spiritually impossible. Make a decision, right? Because if you're getting distracted, it's your freaking fault.